1000 and today I've decided to make a tea. Now this tea, I used to make this tea a long time ago but I couldn't remember so I had to go back on YouTube to figure out what the, the ingredients were again. So anyway, so we ran to the store and I got what I needed and we are going to make thermorec tea. Now this thermorec tea is very good for you. It is, helps you with uh, arthritis. It helps you with diabetes. It kind of helps with the regulation of your diabetes. If you have aches and pains in your body, it, it helps control that. It also, it will help cancer patients. Um, many of you might have already heard of it, and maybe some of you haven't. So this is why I'm doing it, for the ones who don't. And, and there's a lot of different ingredients that you can put in with it. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in here. I'm going to turn the camera around, and we're going to make this tea and I'm going to give it to my mother and I'll drink it too and we'll see how good it is see if she likes it so we're going to turn it around and face you down there you go very good I'm using my camera yeah on my phone that's pretty cool you like it? yeah I like that. okay so I'm going to leave my camera over here so if you I don't know how much you're going to see of me because you're looking at the ingredients so um Okay, so what we got here, I'm going to use almond milk, and you can use coconut milk if you like, or um, some people just use uh, water, and then just put a dab of coconut in there. I use the, I'm going to use the almond milk. I've got thermorac, ground thermorac, I'm going to use that. I've got the ground cinnamon, I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon in there. And you want to put pe black pepper in here, grounded black pepper, because this combines with this, and it's that's the most important of your ingredient. I also got ginger. Ginger is very good for you, but you should really try to get the the uh, the homegrown um, ginger, like the whole grow, whole fresh. fresh. Thank you. Can't speak. So um, because. It's, it's just better for you. And if you can get them more fresh, then that's probably a better, better way of doing it. But the ginger right now is over $5 for a little little ginger. Six bucks. Yeah, yeah, it was like $6. So I was like freaking out. So I, I got this, and it was a couple bucks. So anyways, we're going to try this. And you're also going to put just a little bit of sugar. You could also use honey. And some people... Um, what else do they use? There's something else they use for that's uh, off the sugar. Now, see, with diabetes, you got to be really careful. So you're not going to put a whole lot of sugar in this. Um, not for my mother or me. Um, I was going to use the um, artificial, the, the Travula, whatever it's called. But um, I only have the brown sugar, so I'm, I think you need the white one. And we're going to use the brown sugar in uh, the pies. Okay, so we're going to get this going. You're going to make it warm. You can drink this cold if you want. Some people put it in a blender, and they will use it as a cold drink. But it's I like it as a warm drink. So you can have it at night before you go to bed. And it's soothing, comforting, and it's calming. So um, some people are replacing their coffee instead and drinking this. So... Um, this is basically to your taste. I'm going to make a couple of, I'm not, I'm not going to have it on that high, let's go low. Um, I'm going to have to do a couple of cups here. We'll do like two cups or something like that because there's going to be two of us here. They're going to have a cup each. So, And this is basically like a medicine. It, it, it really is. It, it helps. But you have to do it all the time. You can't just do it one day and think, oh, well, it didn't work. Well, yeah, it does work. But you got it takes time, like everything else in life. So, I'm going to try to find a place in here for the moment. Get rid of that. And there we go. So, I'm going to put in, I'm going to put the cinnamon in. And I'm going to use a couple. This is brand new. Oh, no, it's not. It just has that on. And I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use probably a table, a good tablespoon or just a good amount. 
Um, you know, it's all about taste and what you like and how many people you're going to have. You know, um, Simmons really good for you. So, now this, I had to open it to see uh, if it was okay because I hadn't used this in a long time. Um, but it lasts us a long time. So, I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to do another one. You have to be very careful with um, turmeric because it will stain. So don't want it to be on anything that's going to stain your clothes or your fingers. It will stain your fingers and stuff. And you can smell it. It has a nice smell to it. Now let me move this. And I think you're seeing it. Yep. Okay. And I think... I've learned that I can move my phone and it will kind of adjust with the camera. I'm learning. <laughs> so, anyways, you're going to just blend this in and um, do it real good. You know, you want it to all be blended in. I'm going to um, stir this up for a few minutes and I'm going to put some ginger in there. And so I'll have to open this up here. Um, yeah, if you have any granite or white countertop, don't don't be putting this on there. It will stain big time. Yeah. And don't be taking your hands and wiping them on your clothes either because that's not going to work too good. So I'm going to put this in here. I'm just going to put maybe a couple, half. i got a big tablespoon here, but I'm not using the whole thing. So... Um, I just use it to my taste. That's what I do because everybody's different. Some people like it stronger. Some people don't. You know, so, you know, just try it out and kind of do what you think is best for you and what it's going to do for you. And it's a nice aroma, too. Once it gets going, it'll, it'll fill up the house and have a nice, nice aroma. And now I'm going to put black pepper in here. And you don't have to be, you know, just put a little bit, you know, to your taste. And I got to put a little bit of sugar in here, yeah. Okay, guys, my uh, SD card got full. So I put the black pepper in here just in case, um, you know, it didn't show. So um, you do, do a couple of turns of the black pepper, okay? But it has to be black pepper. And what's left is a little bit of the sugar, so I'm just, I'm not going to put a whole lot of sugar in here, um, because, you know, I've been having my sugar issues, and, um, my mother's diabetic, so, we kind of don't want to do that too much of it, so, um, let me see what I can find here. it sweet. You can use honey too if you want. Um, if you're going to use honey, make sure it's raw honey. Um, you know, you want to make this as organic or as natural as possible. Now I'm just using these store-bought things, which is probably, it's okay to use. It's not, not knocking it down, but um, you know, I didn't put honey in it because that makes my sugar go way high. So um, here we go. And all you're going to do, I put it on low, and you want to kind of uh, just let it, you want to stir it, and you want it to come to a rolling boil. Um, but you got to keep stirring it here and there. And um, let me clean up my mess here, and let it settle for a minute. And then that way, thank goodness it doesn't stain the stove, but it will stain, so don't trust it. Thermo rack. So, and a few more minutes. And we can. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to play with the camera here a little bit. So you can kind of see me. There you go. And. You 
stir it up on Okay, so I'm going to bring you up closer so you can see what I'm doing here. And it kind of goes to an orangey brown color. That's what it will do. So, there you go. And you just kind of want to slowly stir it. So you, you're just stirring it because you don't want it to burn. That's what basically you're doing. I didn't use coconut. I'm not one for coconut. Um, it'd probably be best for you to use coconut if you want to. Um, <coughs> there's uh, different ways you can make this. And they're all over YouTube. But I thought I'd do one. And I wanted my mother to try this because this really helps inflammatory. And it also helps regulate your diabetes a little bit better. And if she likes it, I will make it on a regular basis. <coughs> and a lot of people drink it in the morning and it to substitute their coffee, like I said. Some people drink it before they go to bed. It makes them sleep better, um, <coughs> especially if you have a problem uh, sleeping. And uh, so uh, it, it's just all around goodness. Uh, just, just to let you know, there are different ways of making it. Um, they use uh, chia tea too; is really good for you. Um, I do have not made chia tea, but I was looking at it today, and I would like to try that one and see if I like that one over this one. And uh, you know, <coughs> I got tickled in my throat. Sorry. Uh, it's gotten cooler here. It's been really quite nice. So I'm just going to let it sit for a few more minutes and then I will come back and show you. Be back. Okay guys, I'm back. It's starting to do a little bit of a bubble, so um, that's pretty good. You can go a little longer if you want, but you know, this is hot. You already know it is. It smells, it smells nice in here. It smells... Mm. Oh God, that stuff is so good. It smells so good. So I'm gonna just pour it in my cup here. And there you go. I don't know if I have enough for two. <laughs> yep, we got we got enough. There we go. I'll give her the little one since she does. She she's never had this before, so I'll give her the little one to try it. So and there you go. It's that simple, and it's all goodness. So and hopefully it'll help people who have arthritis. It also is supposed to help your liver too. Um, I'll put a thing. There's all kinds of goodness with this. So um, I'm just trying to. There you go bring you back to me so that's it I'm gonna give it to her and see if she likes it and I will let you know be back oh, you be quiet okay guys we are back I brought my mother and dragged her into the living room so she could test this drink and the thermorac tea that she's supposed to enjoy and you know what it does right Turns orange. Well, it is orange. Oh. What, do you know what it's for? No. It helps with diabetes. It helps to regulate the sugar. Oh, it wonderful. It also helps arthritis, pain, and it also helps with your liver. Oh, well, this should just cure me. It might. But the thing is, you can't just take one drink and that's it. Now, some people will substitute this with their coffee in the morning or they drink it before they go to bed. It's like a medicine. That's what you look at this Once at. a day? Once a day, yes. Okay. So it's hot because you, you boil it a little bit, like a royal boil. Yeah. And and then you pour it in your cups. So you go ahead and test it. Is it loose tea or is it a bag? It's not tea. It's called Thermorac tea. It's Thermorac. Well, is thermorac, it? cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, you have, or you can use honey. Some people use raw honey in it. Mm -hmm. You can use coconut oil. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
What else did I put in there? I put the, the say turmeric. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I put the black pepper in there. Oh. And I put ginger in there. Oh. Yeah. So you try it and you tell me if you like it. And you remember I used to make this a long time ago? And yeah. I tried to get you to drink it and you wouldn't because Dad was around. Well, now you can drink because Dad ain't around. There you go. Is there milk in here? Yes. Okay. It's almond milk. That's okay. Yeah. You can use almond milk in it. So what do you think? Quite nice. Yeah. Like Got a it. nice flavor. Mm -hmm. Now the only problem was like a, a lot of people like it with all the net, you know fresh ginger and, yeah. and stuff and the fresh thermorac. Now mm -hmm. you have to tart you have to go to a, a special store for to get fresh thermorac. You know mm -hmm. like a you know um, you know what I mean. This work just as good. Yeah, yeah, it works just as good. I mean, the ginger was so expensive. I couldn't believe it. For a little ginger, it was almost $6. Oh, come off it. No. Why? It was five ninety nine dollars at Winn-Dixie. I wow. couldn't believe it. And I used to buy it all the time. And usually what you do is you can cut that up and you put it in, in as it royal boils. And, yeah. and, and it all sops up and melts away. So, so what do you think? I just hit a bit of pepper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, use uh, black pepper only. But the kind that you grind? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It tastes good. I could, my stomach can take this. It's not bad. And you can do by taste. Like, let's say I put too much cinnamon in it this time and it might have bothered you. So we can put a little bit less in there. So you could do for taste. Or if you want more of something, you can put more in. Yeah. You know? So... Anyways, guys, that concludes my my video for... Well, by morning, I should be cured. Really? <laughs> no, but it may help stabilize your sugar a little bit. Oh, that would and, be nice. But the thing was that I used real sugar in here, but I didn't use a whole lot. I was going to use your other blend, but it's brown sugar, and I would need, need white sugar, and I wasn't going to go that far. Does it so. say you have to use white sugar? I think it would probably be best. It's just the way it would blend in better. Okay. Well, I, I think brown sugar is better because it's raw. It, it's not yeah. uh, as processed as white sugar, so that's why I use Maybe. it. I don't know. And yeah, we can try it next time. I'll just use a little bit of that instead of regular yeah. sugar. Well, no, it's very good. You can make this every evening for me. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can learn how to make it because now you can watch my video. I don't want to learn how to make it. I how to make it yourself. I have you to make it for me. No. Yes, she's my daughter, and and she's supposed to take care of her mother. Make some ahead of time. Then. Yeah, you can make this ahead of time, and you oh and, get and out of it. Try. You know the glass jars with the lid on them that I have. Remember uh, with the, the mason the, jars. Right. Uh, you can make this ahead. You can do that, and you can put it in the fridge. And all you have to do is when you're ready, you can even <laughs> excuse me, just put it in the microwave. Yeah. And um, yeah, and yes. just or you can put it on the stove and let it go to a, almost a royal boil, rolling boil. Yeah, almost, but not quite. When you see a few bubbles, you're done. So that's it. Yeah, you can do that. I used to do that. I used to make it ahead because you can make a big batch and just pour them in these. Now you got to use jars if you're going to do that though, because um, the thermorack will stain. It stains really bad. So you don't want to use um, plastic. And plastic's not good for you anyways because you're drinking the thermorack with the plastic and it's not going to be healthy. So you want to use glass uh, mason jars. And I have the ones that you have the lid on. That's what I did. So, pretty good? Mm-hmm. Not bad at all. See? And you were going, Ugh. the whole time I say that you're going to drink it. So, <laughs> see how bossy she is. <laughs> there you go. What a bitch. Oh, can't say that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe you learned something. 
Yeah, we had fun. Yeah, we tried to have a little fun. And it, it's really good tea, and I haven't been feeling good. It'd be great for Shea Bear. He's catching a little cold. Oh, right no. Here. He can't get cold. So, you know, we might be able to give him one of these and might make him feel a little bit better. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I think he's afraid of his beard getting orange. Oh, that would be funny. <laughs> Sometimes you can get stain around your, your mouth and stuff. Oh, God. Yeah, but they also, I was reading on YouTube, there was a lady, and she said that Thermorax is supposed to be good for your teeth. It actually whitens them. Oh, really? Mm hmm Yeah, so. It would be nice if I had some teeth to whiten. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I, nursing I, home is coming around the corner again. She my beer bottles for me. Is that what happened? <laughs> now the truth comes out. Oh, God. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Monkey's out. And hopefully you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Um, we're going to hopefully have some pies, which my mother was supposed to do today and didn't. But I wasn't supposed to do them today. I did them. To, I'll do them tomorrow. Laura just wants to get started on eating. That's all. <laughs> Anyways, so y'all have a great Thanksgiving. We're going to enjoy it. And now she knows she can drink this every day if she likes it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. A little bit too much pepper. Yeah, but pepper's good for you. It's the thermorac and the pepper that combine together oh. that, that help. That's why it's got to be black pepper. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to say I'm out before she says anything else. <laughs> Anyways, y'all have a great weekend and bye. Monkey says she's out for now. Bye, y'all. That was good.